And let's switch gears to Henry Cejudo. Henry Cejudo is talking about maybe, maybe, maybe coming back. It's more like rumors and more like hey, China. And more He's, like he just said, I wanna. He said he wanna come I'll back. I'll stop such and such. But if he does come back, he wants to be a triple UFC champion. How is that even possible? What does he want to do? He wants to go. He wants to go. Uh, he wants flyweight. To, he wants to go to featherweight. He fought as a flyweight, became champ. Fought as bantamweight, became champ. He calls himself Triple C because he's also an Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, which makes sense. But like he's gonna be a true Triple C of the UFC bars. Ha! <laughs> no bars, no shit. Ha! <laughs> That's horrible. But he's gonna have to fight Alexander Volkanovski. Volkanovski, the guy who beat uh, Holloway twice. Cause then he had to go up featherweight. He gonna be a small featherweight. But. Give him some time to pack up. Well, actually, also he is kind of a small feather because you know they're gonna they're gonna cut more weight than he will. Cause what's that? One thirty five. Featherweight one forty five. One forty five. See. So he went from one twenty five to. But the good thing about that, he could pack on more muscle though. He could pack on more muscle. So well, wait, so he he tried to come back strictly as a featherweight. He didn't say that, but what he's saying is. He was talking shit to Alexander Volkanovsky, mm -hmm. saying he wants to come back. He he just might come back to fight him and win the title off him. He submitted himself as greatest greatest of all time, being a, a triple UFC champ. Something nobody ever did. Sure. But that's all hearsay right now. That's all hearsay. I personally kind of don't want to see him come back. Not because I fuck with him or Cejudo. Though. But if he didn't kind of fight trick. consistently, exactly. I kind of don't feel don't like watching that. him. And then you going up a, a whole nother weight class again? Nah, it's not. You're doing the most at that point, bro. You kind of corny too. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, it ain't like somebody like GSP just come back and just, you know what I'm saying? GSP type of dude. Come back. He could just come back. And everybody's like, oh shit, it's GSP. Work the ring. You know what I'm saying? Even if you lost, you'll see a GSP that you wanted to see. <laughs> right. But here's the other one. It's like, don't be tired and keep talking up. shit right after you just retire. Right after. Just chill out. Yeah, he did you know, that. No, wait right. a couple years before you say something. I didn't even oh, wait like, a year. Uh, the, the, the main event, I mean, the main card pay per view fight uh, two weeks ago when he was talking about such and such, you'll never be. Remember, he tweeted like, "You wouldn't stand a chance with with uh, Triple C in the ring, blase blase." Talking, he's talking shit about Yan. Yeah, I was like, "Bro, you literally just retired." Right. At this point, you should be like, congratulating fighters, uh, talking all kind of good praises about different fighters. You just retired. You feel me? That's your time to be like, "Yeah, I did my thing. I'm done." So when right. you talk shit like that, especially when you just retired. You low key shouldn't retire. It's kind of annoying too. It is. You're already corny. It it's kind of annoying. I go, I'm a corny motherfucker too. Yeah. But it's like, bro, yeah. you, 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 it's like, bro, dude is, dude is like corny. It's like you ain't gonna promote yourself on like, yeah. and everybody gonna be hyped to see you. Yeah. Some people gonna be hyped to see you just because you're good fire. Yeah. But I'm like, but like, a pay per view wise, like, like it's a money fight or like, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like. It's like, nah, bro. If you wait a few years, then you come back, then it's like, okay, a legend is coming back type shit. But you just retire, you talking shit, oh, I'm going to come back. I'm like, yeah. I just might come back and win a featherweight title. It's like, shut your ass down, bro. True. It's like, shut the fuck up, bro. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You just, you just retire and gave up Literally. both of your belts. Like, shut the fuck up and just chill out right Not now. Vacancy positions. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I will say, um, yeah, I'm not even going to say that because if he came back, then we just have to see what happens. Because he's trying to gain all this weight to fight for no reason. To me, it's, it, it makes no sense for him to come back. It doesn't. It don't. It don't. I'm like, bro, just stop. Just stop it, bro. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy I yourself. I mean, by all means, stay in shape. You want to know? You got hella money. You a triple C. You feel me? You know you got money from wrestling sponsors. You know you got money from 
them UFC contracts and being a champion. You know your champion getting paid a little more than that other fighter and you re you retire basically on top. Why not retire? You deserve it. You earned your position to retire. You earned your Hall of Fame spot right. if they give it to you. You did enough. And you would get Hall of Fame because people are going to, real fighters and the pe that, that the Hall of Fame is usually judged by people who are, who have been fighters. Bro, he beat, he beat the best little guys ever. You feel me? So if you know you whooping people, you want the best of the best, beat the best of the best, and you're an Olympic wrestling champion. Many people in the UFC cannot say they're a gold medalist in Olympic wrestling. Right. They can't. They can say, I won this tournament back in the day, or this tournament, martial arts, whatever, maybe judo. But nobody can say they're an Olympic gold medalist in wrestling. There's a few silver medalists and bronze medalists. Silver medalists. Medalist. No gold, no gold. medalists. For the USA? Gold medalists? Right. Bro, come on now. So, with that being said, he's done enough to earn him a Hall of Fame slot. And he has enough money. We know you're, you're a B.A. Like you said, he needs to sit down and shut the fuck up. <laughs>